uh, Phil Healy from NORCAM, uh, the Public Access Coordinator. I'm here with North Reading uh, Fire Department's Fire Chief, Don Sachs. Hello, Don. Hi, good morning, Phil. How are you? Doing all right. Thanks for uh, being with us here. Good. Well, uh, thanks for having me. We're here to talk about the 2021 uh, burning season, which, uh, when does it start? Tell us all about it. Sure. Well, open burning in Massachusetts is regulated by the state, and it starts on January 15th. And it's up to and including May and ends up to and including May 1st of every calendar year. Um, so that's what we're getting in uh, preparation for right now. Oh, great. Uh, so how are you uh, prepping for? Because I know there's uh, you're rolling out uh, a new software for people to use. Could you go into that? Sure. Yeah, this is very exciting. And, and every year, open burning, a large portion of our residents take advantage of the open burning season to burn any kind of yard debris, aside from leaves, of course, that has come down. So small branches and twigs and whatnot. And typically, the process to, to open burn is they need to contact the fire department and obtain a daily permit. So what that required in the past, up to including last year, was a daily call to the fire department. Even though you might have burned the five days prior, you still have to call. So trying to identify a, a much more efficient way for town residents to obtain an open burning permit and as well as making it a little more efficient here at the fire station, um, contracted with an online uh, vendor with, uh, through Guilfoyle Public Relations and are implementing a new online permitting system, which is, should be really convenient for most folks. Um, so the process that that would entail is going to northreading.firepermits.com and registering for an account. Once you're registered, you need to apply for a permit. And the only permit that you could through this software is open burning. Your permit will get approved and you'll get an email verification back. And once you have that, on the days that you want to burn, you need to log into your account on northreading.firepermits.com and activate your permit. Now, there are a couple of ways, or there are a couple of things that would prohibit that. And number one is each day that open burning is allowed, the fire department makes a determination if we will allow it. If for some reason we didn't allow it, you would not be able to activate your permit and there would be a notice saying that open burning is not allowed today. So some of the reasons that that happens are due to obviously extremely dry conditions or windy conditions, um, not enough moisture in the soil, uh, things that would uh, exacerbate fire conditions. So that is a big overview of the new permitting system. Um, so that can be found directly, like I said, at northreading.firepermits.com. You could also go through our new official town website um, or department website, I should say, at www.northreadingfire.org. And on the front page, there's an open burning section a little bit down the page, or you can hit the permits tab up top and pick open burning and it'll bring you to the same location. That's fantastic. Uh, it's kind of crazy in our day and age where you literally can, oh, I, you know, I can now just apply for a burning permit and I can activate and tell the fire department exactly when uh, and where I'm going to be doing it. Uh, so there's no, so you don't have to be going around and if something's happening, people can know, like you said, if there's uh, in more dry conditions, like in the spring, because I was reading up and uh, I actually never knew this, but uh, your announcement that you sent to NORCAM earlier this week about how winter is the best time because, you know, it, it, you don't have like that underbrush of like new growth in the spring. And it's not, as you said earlier, dry enough for it to really get stuff started. Yeah, that's very true, Phil. And, and you know, typically, earlier on in the burning system in January, February, generally, there's a uh, some snow on the ground. So if you were to clear a spot and start to open burn, you know, obviously a lot easier to deal with at that point than let's say late spring. Um, our busiest times obviously are when the weather is best. And that's also typically the worst times to burn too for fire conditions. So, um, you know, there have been several instances where we've had to shut it down just because atmospheric conditions did not allow. So yeah, this is, the, this is very exciting. And I think that I, I really hope the townspeople are going to like it. I think that, it's a lot more efficient for them um, being able to not have to call back, let's say, if the lines were busy because we were inundated with phone calls for burning permits. They can tell right away when they get up or shortly after um, that, hey, we will allow burning today. And they can kind of plan the day a little bit better and, um, and then also not have to go through the, the whole calling process. And, you know, so I, think, I think it'll be better for, for both the town and the department. 
Yeah, I wasn't even thinking about like tying you up uh, administratively, just as far as like phone um, on the phone. So that, yeah, that's another big perk because I mean, there are much more bigger things to take care of, uh, possibly if things, you know, things arise. Sure, sure, at times. And, and like I said, typically towards the, the better months of burning season, late March and into April, um, a lot of people are calling, especially on the weekends. And, you know, we certainly love to talk to everybody, but at the same time, you know, we can understand how frustrating it would be on, on the residents end that the phone line is continuously tied up and they have to wait to get their burn started on, on a great day. So this, this would definitely alleviate a lot of that. No, that's great. And can you actually tell us the uh, the time frame of, of burning season, like wh when it begins and when it ends? Sure, sure. So, like I said, the burning open burning season starts January fifteenth, and up to and including May first. And the hours of burning are ten a.m. to four p.m. So, like I said, a lot of town residents do take advantage of that, and um, and we hope to make this a, a more painless process. No, that, uh, this is all pretty great. And uh, I guess one or two more questions. Uh, are there any other towns that you saw that were doing this or are we one of the first? Because I've, I've never heard of this really. Sure, I think there are several that use a different uh, software platform. Um, this is something, this is a project that I've been wanting to get off the ground for a little while. And in looking at different software packages, this one made the most sense to me. It was simple, it was very, um, it was simple but complete, if that makes sense. So simple on the user's end, but very complete on our end, where we can um, administratively allow or disallow open burning. We can revoke permits or all permits should conditions change. Um, and as well as it produces a Google map for us that shows where our active fire permits are for the day. So, which is really helpful for us, obviously, when we're trying to, to see, uh, we have smoke in the area in, let's say my neighborhood, and I can see that, oh yeah, Don Stats has his, has his um, burn permit activated. I can kind of look and, and focus my investigation in that area first and see if that, that could be the cause. Yeah, no, I, I totally get uh, what you're saying as far as like uh, something that's a complete package for you that, you know, you guys can do your job and do it well and efficiently and people can also access it uh, efficiently as well. Well, you know, this, this all sounds great and pretty amazing. And I hope people take advantage of it. And can people start uh, going at uh, applying for it now before the January 15th? Yes, they can. And I would encourage I would encourage all residents to register and apply for your permit. Um, we have it set up so that it automatically approves your permit. So there's, there should be no delay. Um, and you will get an email confirmation of that. So yeah, re please register and apply for your permit early. You won't be able to activate it obviously until open burning starts. And you know we approve that. And it's something that we have to administer every day is approve that open burning will be allowed for the day. And when it's allowed, you'll be able to activate your permit between January 15th and May 1st. Uh, well, Don, thank you for speaking with us on this. Uh, and thank you again for setting this up and letting the people know. Is there anything else you'd like to let them know before we, uh, we end? No, no. I just want to thank everybody for the support of the fire department. And I want to thank you and NORCAM for putting this message out to the community. And we hope that um, you all feel it's as much of a win-win as, as, as we do here. So I, I hope you enjoy it. And I would certainly encourage any, uh, any feedback as well. And on our new website, uh, www.northreadingfire.org, under, under forms, there is a tab for our satisfaction survey. So if you felt inclined to, uh, for any reason, not just open burning permits, but for any calls of service, uh, you might have requested from the fire department, please take advantage of that because we do look at that carefully and try to improve our service to the community. Well, this definitely is an, uh, an improvement just on the surface. So uh, uh, we applaud uh, the efforts of the North Ring Fire Department. Thank you again for all this information. And yeah, have a great day, Don. Bill, thank you very much, you too.